שלום, Welcome to Soroka Medical Center, part of Klalit Healthcare. Join us for a story about a place with big dreams where big things happen every day. Soroka, dubbed the Hospital of the Negev, opened its doors in 1959 with only 260 beds and 300 staff members. Today, it is the second largest medical facility in Israel, with more than 1,000 beds and 4,200 staff members. Located in the heart of the Negev, Soroka Medical Center serves an area encompassing 60% of Israel's total land mass, where a heterogeneous population of veteran residents, new immigrants, IDF soldiers, and a continual stream of tourists weave a colorful societal fabric. Here are some figures for a typical year at Soroka. 6.5 million people pass through Soroka's gates. 500,000 outpatients, 200,000 receive treatment in Soroka's emergency rooms, more than at any other hospital in Israel, 80,000 hospitalizations, 32,000 operations, at the largest trauma center in the country, and more than 14,000 newborns. The scope of our services is enormous, but most important is the human touch. In the blink of an eye, everything can change, as it did for a young boy at the age of 11, a few years ago, in a catastrophic accident. Soroka was there for him. Netanel Sabag suffered critical injuries, yet survived a disastrous automobile accident, an accident that took the life of his mother. At Soroka, he received outstanding care from our doctors and professional staff. For the first time since the accident, Netanel has returned to Soroka to discover exactly who it was that fought to save his life. <laughs> The quality of care by our dedicated personnel is a key factor in Soroka Medical Center, which was the first in Israel to be awarded accreditation by the prestigious JCI World Organization for Excellence in Medical Services. Soroka is a university hospital, home to the Ben Gurion University School of Medicine. It is one of Israel's most precious strategic assets, Soroka serves as a lifeline for IDF soldiers wounded in defense of Israel's southern front. Since the castlet operation in the Gaza Strip in 2009, the hospital staff has bravely carried out operations under hostile fire. Hundreds of IDF soldiers and civilian victims of rocket attacks have been saved by the center's outstanding efforts. One of them is Captain Ziv Shilon. כשהתעוררתי לראשונה מהפציעה, לאחר uh, כיומיים וחצי, הייתי בטוח ששתי הידיים שלי כבר לא איתי. He suffered quite a severe injury, and we, we were not sure that we could actually save his hand. But at the end of the day, we decided to try, to give it a try, and uh, it went well. Unfortunately, we have only seven, maximum eight, theaters that are protected uh, from uh, bombs and uh, rockets and uh, missiles. We will need more, more theaters, more operating rooms that are well protected and can function the whole uh, war. It's hard to tell the stories of a human being to the human being that has saved his life. כי זה משהו שהוא בא לי לתואר, אבל uh, אני רק אוכל uh, לומר שיש לי הערכה uh, בלתי נגמרת לצוות הרפואי והמקצועי. קיבלתי מהם יחס שעזר לי לעבור תקופה uh, מהמורכבות בחיי, ותודה רבה על עבודת הקודש שהם עושים. 
Despite all our accomplishments, we know that more is needed to meet the challenges ahead, much more. During recent hostilities, wounded soldiers and civilians had to be operated in underground and outdated ORs. These facilities cannot serve as a permanent solution during emergencies. Imagine the anguish of new parents of a premature baby if a missile assault should occur at the very moment their child is in need of highly delicate, specialized care. A new protected neonatal intensive care unit is crucial to provide a secure environment under any circumstances. And there is also a need for a comprehensive cancer treatment center to provide more than 100,000 cancer-related treatments at Soroka every year. What do you say to someone who has taught your child? In this process, we met so many people who had a special team ש... עם לב רחב. עם לב רחב, ממש. זה לא ברמה הפורמלית, זה ממש כאילו הייתה בתוך איזו משפחה עוטפת. To achieve more success stories like this, Soroka seeks to establish multiple clinics in a new center with targeted solutions for all major types of cancer. 12,500 children and young adults in the Negev suffer from the modern malady of eating disorders. Currently, there is no facility in the entire region to treat this potentially life-threatening condition. These projects and others are essential to meet the challenges of the future of healthcare in the Negev. Our aim is to foster the continued development and demographic growth of the region. As Israel's sole major medical center in the south, we must be prepared at all times. Join us. With your help, we can make dreams come true for thousands and thousands of people in Israel.